Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell. I'd appreciate it majorly. And um, Elijah Cummings passed away overnight, and it comes comes as a shock to me. I didn't know I didn't know he had health uh, health issues, but apparently he did. And it says that he passed away from long-standing health challenges. It says over the Daily Mail that he had a surgery to repair his aortic valve two years ago. So. Um, but and I don't know if this was as a result of complications with his heart. I imagine it was. But he was admitted to the hospital in early September. Um, you know, he had predicted that he would be back to work within a week. I don't know. I don't know how absent he's been, to be honest with you. I know he missed a couple of roll call, call votes, I think, yesterday. But I think he's been... I think he's been present. I know I saw in a press conference once recently, and it did. I was surprised to see it that. Um, and then normally you just see these guys as, you know, from the head up, even even when they're conducting, you know, uh, hearings and stuff and interviews. But I had seen him in the halls, you know, during a press conference on like a scooter, you know. So I assumed he, uh, you know, wasn't able to get around. And that was fairly recently. But he did pass away last night at 2.45 in the morning at John Hopkins uh, University or Hospital in Baltimore. His, that's his wife, who uh, he leaves behind his wife and, and three kids. He, he's the chair of the Oversight, Oversight and Reform Committee, which is one of the committees that's in, investigating Trump right now. There's three of them, Intelligence, Oversight, and I don't know what the third is, to be honest with you. Intelligence is Schiff, Oversight is him, and then there's one more. So... You know, this obviously has political uh, political implications as well. Somebody's going to replace him as the chair. I think the next highest ranking member, you know, um, which I don't know if these people are listed. And this is the, you know, this is the um, Oversight Committee government website. I don't know if these are ranked, uh, you know, listed in how high they're ranked. And I think it's all seniority, how long you've been, been in Congress. I'm almost certain. He was in Congress for 23 years. So I think, and actually... You know, AOC, Ayanna Presley, and Rashida Tlaib are on this committee, and they're all the way at the bottom because they're the freshmen or, you know, I think they're freshmen. Yeah, they are. Uh, Congress, Congresswomen, Congresspersons. So I think, uh, I, think, I think Carolyn Maloney of New York is going to be replacing him as the chair, you know. So, you know, I don't know, I don't know a ton about her. I've seen, I've seen her on television before. I forgot, you know, too, that uh, Debbie Washerman Schultz is on this committee as well. She doesn't seem to be one of the ranking members, but she is on the committee. You know, she's one to watch. She was the chair of the DNC during the um, 2016 presidential election. You know, the DNC that got hacked, supposedly. You know, that, 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 uh, what's her name? <sighs> oh, my God. Tulsi Gabbard conveniently resigns from to help Bernie to help him to help him she resigned from the second most powerful uh, position in the de in the Democratic Party for the election to help Bernie but you know um, I don't know I do think I think I think and this has nothing to do with uh, you know Elijah Cummings passing away which is a shame and I I remember seeing him in one of his committee meetings recently how he was very uh, uh, he defended Mark Meadows, and he was quite nice in the way he conducted it. He was not, you know, he was not nasty at all. He was, he was, he was, he was, he was um, nicer than most, for sure. Um, anyways, but uh, you know, I do believe that I do believe that these committees. The reason they have three committees investigating them, part of this because politicians all want to be in the spotlight and they're all trying to get grab the camera. But I do think there's the uh, that part of that is to have redundancy, so that you know even if one committee gets corrupted, because Trump works both sides of the aisles. Believe me, believe me, huge. I mean, basically, I think Trump fixed the election. I think tr I think Hillary Clinton lost on purpose, and that's my theory. And I think it's a great, great theory. But um, you know, um, so. Uh, you know, I think that that's one reason you have a lot of redundancy so that if one committee gets corrupted, others will, you know, will, will do a better investigation anyways. So he has passed away, man. It's, uh, you know, it's a shame and, uh, it's pretty much the story there. That's the story there. I don't know if Trump's tweeted about it or not. That's a good question. You know, this the earlier they had the long, you know, the big thing about uh, 
No, he hasn't treated at all this morning yet. Wow. Trump's sleeping in, man. All right, well, that's the story there about the rat-infested, you know, Baltimore and stuff. That was in the, in the news quite a bit for a while, and that was with Elijah Cummings because he, he represents Baltimore. That's the story there. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in uh, the next video. Later, man.